Hey everyone, Tech Nerd here. Um, today I am going to be doing a review video on something that I just recently purchased. So not long ago, our um, charter, our cable box kind of, um, shall I say, blew up on us uh, during a power surge or a thunderstorm, and basically it fried our HDMI port on this ginormous uh, DLP projection TV. Um, so, come to find out, my Android TV and my Xbox and other things won't work on it. Fortunately, the component works. However, most of my devices only have an HDMI output. Did a little research online, and I found out I needed to get in a, a converter kit. So, I just bought this HD video converter online. It came from China, and it was about 15 bucks. So, not too bad of an investment. Considering I got this TV for free, and it would be like a hundred bucks to replace the part, either that or get a new TV. But I mean, as you can see, this sucker is 57 inches and still works great. So why get a, another TV if you don't have to? So I've not tested this out yet, so I'm, this is going to be kind of um, a live um, review on it. But it does have um, an HDMI input and a DC 5 volt input for power. And then it goes to a component output. I have tested all my component inputs. Fortunately, still work. Um, it's just the two HDMI ports are fried. So with that being said, I am actually going to go ahead and try hooking up my Android TV. Um, which, if you're curious as to how well that works, it works amazing. And if you want me to do a review video on that, uh, let me know in the comments below. So... Um, that's just the Pixels movie. Great movie, by the way. So these, this is my current component cable over here. I'm just going to unplug this because... Oh, that was loud. I don't need that right now. So this is what is going to be going into the TV. Right here. Um, let's see... Gonna do audio right into that white right there. And of course they're in reverse order. You would think that they would have put them in the same order, but whatever it is what it is. Okay. So I have that in hooked up. Um, I'm actually... For now I'm just going to leave this aside for testing purposes. I might reorganize the cables a little bit later. I'm going to plug this in right here. And then... For the sake of testing this out... I'm just going to go ahead and figure out where to plug this in. <laughs> um, I think I've got this right here. Just bear with me one moment. I'm just going to take this DVD player out because I'm not going to need it now that I can get my Xbox to work. Okay, so we got that. That's plugged in. As you can see, power light came on there. Now for the HDMI cable. All right. This is going to be a huge test here. So I am plugging this end right here. It's hard to do this one-handed, sorry about that. Oh, and my computer and my TV went to sleep on me. I'm going to plug this in right here. Hang on one moment while I do that. Okay. So we have HDMI port going out into the converter and this going into the back of the TV. I'm going to go ahead and 
Fire this sucker back up. Alright, it's waking up. Let me go ahead and turn on my Android TV. Wrong button. That powered on. Um, wait for the signal. It is on component 2. And... Voila! Ho ho ho! There we go. As you can see, I've got Cody running right now. Um, running this, but I'm not going to show you that for copyright reasons. Uh, I've got I've got watching Game of Thrones right now. Um, you might not be able to see the quality difference, but I can definitely see it on this end. It is definitely a huge difference. Let me back out to the main home screen here. And it looks like this test is a success. So um, if you are considering getting this sort of adapter because your HDMI port is fried or you don't have one on the back of your TV, um, if you're going from a digital HDMI into a component adapter, um, I would recommend investing in this little gadget. It's about 15 bucks I bought on eBay, um, but it looks like based on this live testing, it was a success. Uh, if you have any questions about this device or have any other concerns, I'll just leave a comment below. Uh, you know what to do, and uh, I'll be sure to answer any questions that you have. But it looks like this was definitely an investment well worth it.